everyone, I'm Chris C with Get Fit and Pull, and today I'm teaching you a floor combo that you can use to any song of your choice. So let's get started. You're gonna need knee pads, and heels are recommended, but socks will be just fine. You'll notice that my left leg has a black heel, black knee pad, right leg has a pink heel and a nude knee pad, and that's just so it's easier to follow with me online. Let's get started. I'm gonna start in um, front view. Uh, so you are my audience, cross leg position. I'm gonna show the combo and then break it down. So we're gonna do this in sections. We're gonna come up, tap, slide, here, under, over, and here. Let's learn. I'm gonna start with both legs in front. Front view. So both legs are towards your audience. You can start it like this or cross leg position. Either way, you're gonna start up. You're going to internally rotate. So when I say internally rotate, that means rotate inward, right? So my right leg, my knee is gonna to turn towards my left side or left shoulder. Rotate this way and then externally rotate, meaning my knee is now facing my right side. Tap the floor, sweep under. Now my right hip is gonna come down to the ground for support if I need it. Sweep it under that left leg, just like that, that left leg went up. Lifting up my booty off the ground with two hands, sweeping into a circle. And as my leg comes out to the right side, this knee is going to fall to the left. So I end up in this little stag position. Right leg's gonna continue the circle to the left side of the room. From here, I'm gonna bring it back, meeting the other leg, lifting my booty off the ground, arching your back, head back, sweeping in a circle so that my, my left leg is facing that side of the room. From here, I'm going to continue that circle as I came here, turning, turning, turning towards my right shoulder, Right hand, left hand, and I'm up here. Let's go in a back view. So in a back view, you are following behind me like you would in class as if you're behind me in class. Right, left hand, left leg, right leg over here. So from here, I'm gonna start with my right leg up, cross leg, we're gonna come up, internally rotate, bend towards your left side, then bend towards your right for an external rotation. Tap, sweep it under, rest your booty on the ground if you need to. Sweep it under that left leg. Continue the circle as far as you can go until you need to rest on your left booty, left knee. Continue the circle here. From here, we're going to sweep it under. So right leg's going to sweep under. Arch your back under that booty. I'm pushing off with my arms as my left leg comes over here. Now to turn, I'm going to use the momentum of this to continue my turn. It is easier in shorts or leggings to slide on the ground, but even if you um, are wearing maybe pull shorts and getting stuck, it's still possible to do it as this was originally practiced in pull shorts. So from here, I'm gonna kick and try to turn and get some momentum, but without the momentum, so I just went boom, boom, boom. Try to play, you're gonna to try to get right, left hand this side of the room. Head rolls, left ear to left shoulder, chin to chest, right ear to right shoulder, looking at your audience. My left leg is behind me, just like that. From here, let's move on a little bit. From here, I'm going to bring both legs in, knees together, pump it open, pump it close, and shoot it back. So again, I was here, bring it in, pump, pump, back. And I'm arching my back each time, so you can add a little booty by going in, making it dramatic, rounding that back um, here, and then arching your back over here. It's up to you how dramatic you want to make it. From here, I'm going to, and another thing I wanna point out is I'm not on a flex foot or a relaxed foot. I am pushing 
through here because it's always easier to slide in a point. So my right leg is now back. It used to be my left, now it's my right. Right leg's going to now sweep around that left leg. So it's going behind. I'm gonna go in a diagonal so you can see what's happening. Here, here, okay? So right leg is going to sweep behind the left. From here, you can make it a bigger circle by bringing this right leg forward and then sweeping it around. That's just an accent that's totally up to you. The next move we're gonna do is this little floor pivot just like that. So how I'm doing that, let's break that down. Again, this is back view. I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to bring this right leg behind the left leg, knee to knee. I'm gonna push up with my hands, push up. I'm going to focus on getting all of my weight on this left platform here, left. And I'm hard point, hard point, so that I can pivot on the tip of that platform. And push, 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 push as this rotates down into your knees. This might take a little bit of practice to get it smooth, but once you understand the weight distribution, it becomes a little easier. So let's try that again. From here, again, this is back view, sweeping that right leg behind the left, knee to knee, push up, focus on getting some weight on this platform here, push and come down. Let's try the whole thing from this point back view in a faster pace and then we'll move on a little bit. So we're gonna start over here. Back view, right leg over left if you choose or you can start up here already. So from here we're gonna come up, internal rotation of the hip, pushing high on your arms. Tap, sweep under that leg. Circle, 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 circle. Around under the booty. Push, 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 push. Around, head roll if you choose. In, out, in, back. And when I go back, sometimes I'll do a little mini hair flip if I want. So from here, circle that right leg behind the left. Push and come down however you want from this point. Okay, let's move on a little bit. There's only a little bit more. And then we're gonna try this with a front view. So, from a back view, I'm gonna do a little eight with my head. So, one, two, three. And then I'm gonna push my booty down. Let's talk about eights really quick. So if you're not comfortable or familiar with eights, it's simply uh, a flourish or a head a hair flip accent. If you have a high ponytail, it's easier to feel this. Um, a couple notes, if you have sh really long thick hair like me, it's gonna take a lot more effort to do an eight than it would be if you have short hair. Uh, if you think of it like a whip, if you have a short whip, it's a very easy and quick to get your hair or that whip to whip up. Now think about a really long whip, maybe those ropes you work out with, and you have to put a lot more effort to get that whip to the end, um, that whip or that wave to the end. So it's the same thing with hair. So if you're doing a hair uh, flip using the eight, it's more effort and it will take longer than someone with short hair who can do it super quick. Just wanted to put that out there uh, for timing purposes. Okay, so in an eight, you're gonna think about getting your, we're gonna, for our choreo purposes, we're gonna use our left first. Left ear, front of the room, sweep it down to back. Right ear, sweep it down to back. And that's gonna be your eight. So you're gonna go to that. Um, it does take practice, and again, a high ponytail will make it a little bit more like a goal because you'll be able to feel the ponytail uh, whipping around. So here, 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 here. We're only doing two. So um, for our back view purposes, we're simply going to go left. Left ear, this is back view, audience is over here, you're behind me in class, left ear. Left, right, left to get down here. From here, we're simply gonna slide down, booty up in the air, bend, and open up one leg. 
other leg stays bent. We're gonna bring this down and try to push up just like that. From here, we're going to turn and come down. Now coming down is really up to you what direction you want to come down. I'm gonna leave that up to you, but I'm gonna break this part down a little bit more. So you just wanna do one, two, three, down, sliding it down at, um, in a wave or a body wave. Um, and then from here, bending both legs, knees should be together, even if they were apart here, bring them together so that it's a cleaner wave, inter internal, external rotation, it's cleaner. Bend, turn towards your, uh, turn to open to the audience so that you're sitting under your left hip. Here, here, bring it up, push it up as smooth as you can, and we're going into a floor pirouette, which we're gonna, you can use your hands for momentum, but it's gonna go knee to knee and continue the turn, depending on where you want to turn. So I'm here, put, I like to put my weight here, wind it up, you can turn wherever you wanna turn, depending on how much momentum you wanna put into it. And that's the combo. So let's review it from a front view and um, that'll be it. So from a front view, we're going to start over here so you are my, now my audience. We're gonna come over here, leg here, and we're gonna go with five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, right leg, and seven, eight. From here, wind up, one and two. And we're actually gonna end the choreo right on two. So I hope you enjoyed this choreo. I'll put a little clip at the end of this tutorial of the full run from a back view. And I hope you can use it in your own choreo with your own music. And if you choose to share it on social media, please post Get Fit and Pull. Uh, please tag Get Fit and Pull and please tag me, Chrissy Dan, so we can cheer you on on your journey. Thank you for joining us. And until next time, happy dancing, everyone.